Hello and welcome to my prayer closet. I am absolutely excited that you chose to come and pray with me today in my prayer closet. Today, uh, we will be kicking off our theme week of my temple. And we're going to start with our mind, praying for our minds today. All week long, our focus will be on your body, which is your temple. Now, on this channel, we have memory verses or meditation verses, if it's your first time here. Our meditation verse for the week can be found in 1 Corinthians six nineteen and 20. It says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you? Whom you have received from God, you are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Now, if you have the goals and prayer planner that you see on the screen and the link is below, if you don't, go ahead and write in. We're in week 13. Write in that scripture and write your prayers and notes for the week there. And if you're interested in getting it, then click the link below. I'm excited to pray for you. All you've got to do is come into agreement with me by hitting that thumbs up button and dropping me an amen or prayer emojis. Come on, let me pray for your mind. And we'll hang around um, to see if the Lord has anything he wants to pour into us as I pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you. We praise your holy name. We lift up your, your awesome name right now. We say you are worthy to be praised, God, as we cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God who was slain on our behalf. Thank you right now, Lord Jesus, for being our Holy Father. Thank you, Father God, for being so good to us and so awesome, Lord Jesus. We come right now to pray for our minds, Lord Jesus. The Bible clearly says that we can be transformed as long as our minds are renewed, but we know the enemy wants to attack and destroy our minds. We know the enemy wants to place strongholds on our minds, so we are plagued with fear, anxiety, doubt, worry, unbelief, disbelief, but the devil is a liar. And so I pray for each and every one of these precious sisters that are being attacked in her mind. I come against that attack in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I pray, I pray John 8 that you've set them free. Therefore, they are free indeed. And so the devil cannot mess with their head, cannot mess with their mind. I come against that filthy demonic spirit spirit that tells them that they're losing their mind, that tells them that they're crazy, that tells them they're not smart enough, they're not good enough. That's not from you. Father, thank you right now. We know that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And so, Father, we're not going to be condemned by our minds because that's a ploy and a plot of Satan. Thank you right now. We have sound minds, Father God. We're not fearful. The Bible says you haven't given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And so, Father, I thank you right now, Lord Jesus, that our minds, Lord Jesus, belong to you. Thank you right now that we have the mind of Christ, as it says in your word. Thank you right now that as we speak your word, as we believe your word, as we meditate on your word, that our lives are changed. And so, Father, touch our minds right now, God. Touch our minds. Help us to learn. Help us to study your word. Help us to fall more and more in love with you, Lord Jesus. Help us to use our mind for good and not evil, Father God. Help us to withstand the attack the devil brings on our minds, God. Lord Jesus, we know. We know the enemy comes in. But Father, we know we can take a stand against his schemes and his plots. Thank you, Father God, that we can withstand the attack of the devil. According to Ephesians 6, we put on the helmet of salvation in order to withstand the attack on our minds. 
So we consecrate, hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We consecrate our minds to you. We consecrate all brain activity to you. We declare we will not have brain aneurysms. We will not have dementia. We will not have Alzheimer's. That our minds are fresh. We won't lose our minds. It doesn't matter as we get older. It doesn't matter as we enter or are in retirement age or in a certain season of our lives. We're declaring that our minds are sharp and focused and renewed. Hallelujah. Because of the blood of Jesus and the purpose of Christ in our lives. It's in the mighty name of Of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me um, today, sisters. I am really excited about this week and I truly hope you are uh, if you've been with me for a while or following along in your prayer planner and you are writing your prayers and you're writing the scriptures and you are going back through them and here's why it's important because when you are actively engaging God with your mind you are showing up uh, a protective layer around you Why? Because the enemy wants to steal your mind. If the enemy can get your mind wrapped around and focused on the problems, then you're constantly talking about them. You're constantly worried about them. You're constantly meditating on the problem. One of the things I say in one one of my favorite books that I've written uh, with hundreds of prayers in it called The Battle Book um, is, is that I say, you, you can't just pray the problem. You got to pray the solution too, based on God's word. And that helps protect your mind. Your mind is a control center. Let your mind be led by the spirit of God on the inside of you and not by your circumstances. Because if all you see is what you see with your eyes, then for some of us, things can look bleak. But you have to make a decision. I'm going to renew my mind concerning this situation. So I'm not down and I'm not out. It can be for your kids. It can be for your circumstances, your marriage, anything. I will change the way I think. You change your thinking, you change your life, honey. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I know from experience, not from what I read. As long as your mind is in a hole, you will be in a hole. So you've got to think bigger. You've got to think better. You've got to think the thoughts of Christ. You've got to think about what Jesus says about you more than what you think about you, more than what people think about you is what Jesus says. And you get that in your mind. And when you do, your circumstances will change. I can't promise you when they will change, but I promise you, sister, they will For many, many years, my husband always ministered to me and said, Kim you should be making six figures. That is when I was making $35,000 a year and being abused on a job in ministry. And he would constantly tell me that. But because of where my mind was, I could not accept the fact that, yeah, my skill set and my experience I should be making this amount of money. I didn't believe him. I had to renew my mind to such a degree um, so that when somebody comes to me, well, hey, this is how much I want to pay you. I cannot entertain beneath what I believe. So don't entertain anything or anybody beneath what God has for you. And that requires you. To renew your mind. 
I love you all very much. Thank you for joining me in prayer. And if you want the prayer planner or any of my devotionals to help you in your walk with the Lord, they are below or just connect with me on social media so we can stay connected. I love y'all. Let's have a fantastic week of prayer.